Κυρίε και κύριοι, στα ενημερωτικά βίντεο του Συλλόγου Ασθενών με Μικρανία και Κεφαλαγία Ελλάδο για την Μικρανία, έχουμε τη χαρά να φιλοξενούμε τον Άλαν Ράποπορτ, διακεκριμένο καθηγητή νευρολογία στο Πανεπιστήμιο UCLA στην Καλιφόρνια, πρώην πρόεδρο τη Διεθνού Εταιρεία Κεφαλαγία, του κορυφαίου επιστημονικού οργάνου για τι κεφαλαγίε και έναν άνθρωπο που έχει αφιερώσει μεγάλο κομμάτι τη ζωή σου στην έρευνα για την Μικρανία και την Κεφαλαγία, έχοντα συγγράψει εκατοντάδε ιατρικά άρθρα αλλά και πολλά βιβλία πάνω στο θέμα. So, Dr. Rappaport, thank you again. So, we've been discussing about migraine in previous video, the clinical picture, and you just said that there are no tests, so the diagnosis is made of clinical, on clinical grounds. I understand that some people might get nervous about it and uh, might think that, uh, is this enough that uh, the doctor just listens to me, to what I say, and, um, and then his definite it's migraine or should I worry or should I get a second opinion? So let's say in what percentage of your practice when you see headache migraine patients do you require any additional testing? The first thing I do is ask the patient if they go to a general doctor on a regular basis and when was the last time? So if they've been to a doctor within the last year and everything is absolutely fine, and they had some blood tests, and they were fine, I probably won't ask for any further tests if the history that I'm getting from the patient is exactly the history that you get with migraine. If there's something funny about the history, if they're older in age, over 50, uh, if um, they've had some illness recently, or in the past they've had a serious problem like cancer or anemia or some other disease state, uh, I might want to get further tests. Uh, most of the time, if it's a young, healthy person who started migraine in the last year or two and has one or two attacks a month and it absolutely fits the criteria that we use around the world, I don't think a test is, is always necessary. Now, some patients come and they're worried that they have a brain tumor or something seriously wrong. And I can tell them after I hear that they've been absolutely healthy and they've had some recent tests and I know that it's migraine, I can tell them, I think it's migraine. I would like to treat you and see how you do. And if you don't do well, maybe we do some tests just to be absolutely sure. And if a patient says, you know, I'm really worried about this, I won't be able to sleep at night unless you do a scan of my brain, I often say, okay, because the most dangerous thing is to refuse to do that and find out later that the patient was right, that there was something wrong. But it's so unlikely if the patient fits the perfect criteria for migraine, that it's something else. But it could always be. You can have migraine and a brain tumor. Not related to the migraine Totally headaches. unrelated. Just a coincidental uh, health problem. Absolutely. So you do have to be careful, but we know a migraine patient when we talk to them. So it's really reassuring to hear also from you that worldwide migraine is diagnosed based on clinical grounds, on clinical picture, and there are no, in most cases, no tests required. And the next question that comes from patients, because we made also a poll uh, on social media on questions patients wanted to ask to you, is why do I get migraines? So many people accept their diagnosis and then they start, but why is this happening to me? I sometimes jokingly say to the patient, it's because of your mother because migraine tends to be inherited. It's more likely to occur in females than males, three to one, and it runs in families sometimes. So if your mother has migraine or even your father, there's a better chance that you're going to have migraine as well. We don't know exactly how it's inherited, but I would say if both of your, pa your parents have migraine, you have over a 50% chance of having migraine. That's not an exact number, but a round number. 
If one of your parents have it, it might be 25 or 30% chance. And it could be you could get migraine without either of your parents having it. And sometimes no one in your family has it, but that's very rare in my experience. Most of the time when I take a history, the patient says, yes, I have three siblings and one or two of them have migraine. I have More kids. people in the family. Yeah, I have kids and one of them has migraine. My grandmother, I don't know if it was migraine, but she would lie in bed for two days throwing up. And uh, most they, likely it they was called migraine. it a sick headache. Um, so most likely it's migraine. And you can't always get that history from somebody. Somebody might not know their grandparents or what was wrong with them medically. But most of the time we get a history of migraine. But interestingly, we don't require a history of the family having migraine to make the diagnosis. We like that as corroboration, but we don't require It's not necessary. Right. And the final question on this spot, um, some people say, okay, I know that my mother had severe headaches, but mine are quite different. So is, is it possible that migraine is, of course, hereditary, but different in the clinical appearance between two persons in the same family? Absolutely possible and, and somewhat likely. And if you have migraine, some of your headaches might be one type and some of them might be slightly different, even in the same patient. So if I could get the exact history from the mother, what her migraine was like or is like, and then the same history from the patient, and if it was different, but they both qualified for a migraine diagnosis, I would feel even more comfortable that it was migraine. But I would like to emphasize that you can't always tell what's going on in the brain without further tests, and sometimes it would be necessary or suggested to do further tests. Okay. So thank you for all this info, and we continue. We have some more questions from our audience, from the Greek patients with migraine, and we continue with those in the next video. Okay.